Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Solution Channel. Today I am going to discuss about the infinite series. So the first thing is infinite series. Before getting into the problem, we have to know some basic definitions. So that are the first thing is the sequence, sequence of the real number, then series, convergent, divergent, and the important last one is oscillatory. oscillatory. What does it mean by convergent sequence? In the sequence is the ordered set of real number is called ordered set of real numbers okay ordered set of real numbers how can we express these ordered set of real numbers let us take a1 a2 a3 up to an are the real numbers we can write it as a1 a2 a3 up to an and here we have considered only n terms that is called finite sequence. If the terms are unlimited, then we can call it as the infinite sequence. We can write it as a n plus 1 up to infinity. This infinite sequence can be denoted as that is a n. So this is called the sequence. What is mean by series of the real number? If the sum of all the elements in the sequence is called a series. How to write the sequence? Let us take the, let us consider the infinite sequence that is a n is equal to here we have a1, a2, a3 up to a n. Then you just add all the elements here that will give a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus up to a n plus up to infinity. And this sequence is formally known as infinite series. It is denoted as sigma u n. If we consider only n terms, that is denoted as S n. So this sequence can, series contains only n terms. And now the convergence. What is meant by convergent of the series? <coughs> the convergent series of the uh, real numbers is if the limits tends to only the finite value as n tends to infinity, that is called the convergent sequence. In mathematically, we can say that limit n tends to infinity, yes n is equal to some finite value, then this sequence is called the convergent sequence. And similarly, if the limit tends to infinite value, the infinite may be plus or minus, then we can call it as a divergent series. <coughs> the divergent series, it, the mathematically can be expressed as limit n tends to infinity, yes n is equal to plus or minus infinity then this is called divergent series. What is mean by oscillatory? If the limits does not contain any finite value, so then we can call it as oscillatory series. So these are the basic definitions of the infinite series. Now, we'll find, we'll solve some basic problem based on the infinite series. The first thing is sigma n. Let us take sigma n, we need to find whether it is convergent or divergent. This sigma n can be expressed as that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n plus up to infinity where n is equal to 1 to infinity and I already said that this can be represented as yes, n to find whether it is convergent or divergent first thing we will consider only the n terms that is yes n is equal 1 2 3 plus up to n now take limit n tends to infinity on both sides this will become limit n tends to infinity, yes n will give infinity. Therefore, this series is obviously divergent series. And next thing, we we'll go to the P series. What is mean by P series? Let us consider the P series is sigma 1 by n power P. What is mean by P here? Depends on this P value, the series will become convergent or divergent. So what are that values? Suppose we have some two values. Suppose if, if p is greater than 1 and before that let me explain how to write this p series. So 1 by n power that is 1 power p 
1 by 2 power p, 1 by 3 power p, plus up to 1 by n power p, plus c infinity. So this is the expression of 1 by n power p. Now, if t is greater than 1, that means the de denominator value, it is increasing 1 by, so this is greater than 1, it took maybe 1 by 2, I mean 1 power 2, 2 power 2, 3 power 2, or 1 power 3, 2 power 3, like that. Already we know uh, the basic things. If the denominator increase, the whole value will be decreased. So that this will be automatically convergent. And second thing, if P is greater than, sorry, less than 1, so what will happen? That means less than 1, let us take some negative values here. So 1 minus 1 power minus 2, 2 power minus 2, 3 power minus 3. I will explain here that is SN is equal to 1 power. 1 power minus 2, 1 by 2 power minus 2, 1 by 3 power minus 2, plus up to 1 by n power minus 2. And this series can be written as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus up to n square. And look at the first uh, problem, the sigma n, n values 1, 2, 3, up to n this will be infinity and this is the square of that particular value so that this is also obviously divergent next, so next thing uh, so first thing uh, the SN is a divergent when p is less than 1 suppose if p is equal to 1 then what will happen so this is the some trivial case and tricky case as well suppose now substitute that sigma 1 by n if you express this 1 by 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, plus up to 1 by n, let's take n is equal to 1 to infinity, then infinity term. And now, consider only Sn, that is n terms 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 3, plus up to 1 by n. If you take limit n tends to infinity, the last term is the nth term is a 1 by n, so this will become a 0, but if you take limit n tends to infinity, so yes, n, this will become 1 by infinity, which is equal to 0, is a finite. So whether it is convergent? No, this is not a convergent actually. Now we'll prove that, that is yes, n is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 plus up to 1 by n. Let us consider this series up to nth term. Next thing I will take, I will add only the in terms of 2 power n. Only in terms of 2 power n terms. First thing let us take n is equal to 1. That means yes to you will get n is equal to 1. So 2 terms I will add. That is 1 plus 1 by 2. So this will become again 1 plus 1 by 2. Let us take like this and substitute n is equal to 2. I can write it as yes for that means I need to add first four terms that is 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. And now we know the first two terms is already 1 plus 1 by 2 and next two terms is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. If we take as it is, it is not possible to sum all this value up to the nth term. So I will consider if you take, if you replace 1 by 3 as 1 by 4, again this value so much more than the next value. So I will consider 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 4, then 1 by 4. Now just add these two value and these two value. This will become 1 plus 1 by 2 and these two terms will give another 1 by 2. Now I can write this as 1 plus 2 times of 1 by 2 because I want to make it as in terms of some general form. Then substitute n is equal to 3. This will become yes 3 is equal to so yes. Yes 8 will become. We need to add up to 8 terms. Already we know first 4 terms as 1 plus 2 times of 1 by 2 and the remaining 4 values are 1 by 5, 1 by 6, 1 by 7 and 1 by 8 and 3. And next thing here is 1 by 7, 1 by 8 and now if you replace this 5, 6, 7 as 8, this is obviously greater than 1 plus 2 of 1 by 2 
plus remaining value will become 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8 and 1 by 8. We will take the LCM for this term and this will become 1 plus 2 times of 1 by 2 plus another 1 by 2. So that is 1 by 2. We just add this value, we will get 1 plus 3 times of 1 by 2. And take 2 power n, n is equal to 4. So we get S yes, 16. So now we need to add up to 16 terms. We know first 8 terms is 1 plus 3 into 1 by 2. The next 8 terms are 1 by 9, 1 by 10, 1 by 11, 1 by 12, 13 and 14 and 15 then 16. So these are 16 terms. Similarly, the last term is 1 by 16. I will replace all these by 9 to 15 as a 16 value. So this will become obviously greater than of a 16. So 1 plus 3 times of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16 plus up to 1 by 16. How many terms? We have 8 terms. And if you take LCM for this term, this will become 1 plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus another 1 by 2. Just add this value 1 plus 4 into 1 by 2. If it is 2 power n, that is 2 power 4, we got 1 plus 4 into 1 by 2. If it is in general term, let us take yes into 2 power n, we can write it as 1 plus n into 1 by 2. And next thing, so yes, 2 power n is equal to 1 plus n into 1 by 2. Now take limit n tends to infinity on both sides because now we extend the limit up to nth term. So that limit n tends to infinity, yes, 2 power n will become limit n tends to infinity, 1 plus n into 1 by 2. Now substitute n is equal to infinity, 1 plus infinity into anything that will become infinity. So we got here it is infinity. So we know by the definition of conversion, diversion, we got here is a plus infinity. So that this 1 by n, sigma 1 by n will become divergent series. So thanks for watching.